Hi, this is uh, recursive programming I developed within uh, Visual Basic 6. It's more or less like a uh, fractal geometry. So you guys, uh, I'll take you to the Visual Basic 6 uh, development environment. You can have a look at the code and maybe improve on this. Hi, this is uh, Visual Basic 6. If you can still remember how to use Visual Basic 6, for those of you who have ever used it. Well, what I'll be doing is just to to draw squares, and at each corner of a square, I will draw a smaller square, just something okay, very small on the size. Then I'll continue drawing unless the square are already too small. So using the graphical method within the system. So I'm gonna go into the coding area and just change my method or procedure. Let me change it to form click. Done. So I'll start by the following minus four thousand. Add another four thousand, close the brackets, and now let me just copy instead of typing, typing and paste it right there. Paste, let's get rid of that and enter my minus right there. That's good. So I'll enter this square. So what I will do again is to actually try the sub procedure this square. Okay, let's say square. X comma Y and um, let's say size. Close the bracket. And make this more case. I'll close the bracket and uh, say if size if size less than let's try fifty then exit the system and so and uh, nine x comma y minus x plus size comma y plus size. Okay. Has to draw the large size. The second one is now. I have my square x minus the size. Let's divide that by four. And y plus size divide. So just that would create the recursive call. That's just for a recursive call. So I've actually speed it up. Well the first line after the stop procedure is to draw the large uh, the larger uh, squares and uh, the second one right here that is the recursive call. See? Run the program. 
so if I click on this this is what you get but let me just go back to the form and uh, get that very form let's make it uh, the window state maximize so let's run it again click bang you see that folks so let's go back into the program and just reset some values in there let me change this to 100 and see what will happen and that, can you see that guys you can see the square set of light become a little bit larger so some other people might even see this as a fractal uh, geometry okay let's say I increase this to 200 let's see look at that can you see that so I'll leave it with 100 so guys the code is there if you want I'll put it on my share drive and you can always uh, try something of this nature out okay so you have a nice day